Hello Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> this is a general, so it will not resonate with everyone. If you guys are interested in a personal, that information is down below the video, the website address. And um, let's see what's going on for you guys. Huh. I feel like you guys are... There, there's somebody who you have strong feelings for. Somebody that you love even, okay? That you're not really making a move towards. Um, it's just it's just this feeling that that you know you have but you're not like advancing towards this person um, I also feel like this person knows that you love them they're also somebody that's not speaking and they may even be refusing to speak to you at this point um, ear sign here okay they're not saying much at all. They may be refusing to talk. They may be waiting on you to reach out and then they will talk. But it may not be um, the response that, that you'd want. Okay. Let's see about the other person. Hmm. Gemini Virgo energy here. I feel like this person, you know, I usually don't see the lovers as... Um, a choice necessarily but here I'm seeing that this person is making a choice not only to um, focus on their their stability like in their home life like getting their money um, focus on their job but they're also choosing not to be involved in a relationship where it's you know purely sexual and that may be how they felt that um, that you felt about them but they're they're only excuse me wanting to involve themselves with someone that truly has commitment on their mind is what I'm feeling here okay <clears throat> let's see what you guys want I feel like you just don't want to fight anymore. And I think that's probably why you're not making any moves towards this person because there there was possibly a lot of conflict um, in your relationship and you're just really just wanting to move past that. Just be done with that. Um, you'd rather, you know, move on without this person than to have conflict is what I feel. Now, what you really would like to see happen, I think, is for you guys to move, both of you, to move out of this conflict, um, you know, get back together and move past all this hurt that both of you have endured here, okay? Just move on together. I think that would be, um, that's what you would prefer, but if there is still conflict in the connection between the two of you you, you <coughs> excuse me you just wanting to like <clears throat> you you want to miss all of that i think you're just over the conflict okay and i feel like this person is too but i think they are they are in the same frame of mind as you are as far as not wanting to be involved with conflict. Um, but they're also at a point where if they get involved with someone, if they witness any like behavior that they're not feeling, um, they will be gone like that. Is what I'm getting here. Let's see what the other person wants. They just want to start over again. They want to see real changes in their life, significant changes. Um, again, they're looking for a, a Ten of Pentacles relationship and not one that's uh, based on uh, superficiality. 
okay they're they're putting an, an end to something which is this what they're feeling like they were involved with before and they're wanting a brand new start somewhere else okay now for some of you this is this individual um you know thinking about having this new start with you for some of you okay <clears throat> Because this this ended right here. This is what they want, and I feel like they they feel like they had this with you, and now it's like you know no more of that. Um, this is what I'm going for here with this Ace of Wands. All right, let's see what you guys need. This is Sagittarian energy. Um, this is like finding harmony in your life period, um, feeling grounded. I think I think this this is more so about you not running away. Um, you taking action if you need to. Because here, like I said, this King of Cups is not making any moves. Okay. Um, there's love here, but there's no action being taken. So, okay, there. here's the cup. You have that cup. You have that all wrapped up, you know. But there's a need for you to take some action here. And this Knight of um, Wands is facing towards the other person so i feel like there there's a need for you to bring harmony um a balance back to this situation okay i feel like this this wand right here is this wand right here this is what the need is this is what this person is wanting okay and so if if you love this person and this energy can go vice versa if you love this person then if this is what they're wanting this is what you're going to have to bring okay this is what the need is all right let's see what the other person needs I need to I think they need to stop feeling um, defensive they need to stop feeling paranoid that this is the energy that you're bringing that you only want a sexual uh, connection with them um, they need to realize I feel that you know even though they've been through something that they feel like you know was very hurtful that they can go on they can have this this new start here Yes, there has been a lot of happenings behind them in the past between the two of you, okay? There's a need for them to put that behind them, let it go, um, not necessarily forget about it, but you have to forgive, and if this is something that you feel like is very strong that you want, you have to be willing to put things behind you and start over or start again, okay? And... Um, that's what's going to bring them happiness but they need to realize that here with the sun this is realization okay that if they want this is their happy this is their happy this is also Sagittarius energy Leo energy here okay so it may be a Sag you guys are dealing with um, could be a Gemini, another Virgo that you're dealing with here. Scorpio energy, just the energy I see present it does not have to be those signs, okay? There's also Aquarius here. Yeah, their their need is to is to realize that they can very well have a new start and have a new start with you if they let their guard down because they're guarded here as well. Okay, <clears throat> let's see if there's anyone else involved here. Uh, 
you guys may be juggling um, there may be someone else that has um, that you have been involved with or you are involved with currently and I feel like you know you're kind of unsure about you know which which way to go who to choose or what should you do at this point because you you feel this love I feel for this other person but there may also be a water sign here I feel for some of you um, that between a water sign and an earth sign possibly that you're having to you know that you're in two minds about you're unsure about which connection is you know for you but strongly for for most of you I feel like this two of cups is you being unsure about this person is what I feel strong water here with this king of cups but mostly the energy that I see here is um, Sagittarius energy fire energy here um, mostly that's what's very that's what's prevalent that energy in your reading and then we have Gemini Aquarius air energy all right so let's see what it is if somebody else is involved for um, the other person. Honestly, you know, for both of you, um, I think you're thinking about each other. I think this person on this side, though, is is wanting to move on I don't think that they have because I feel like we have the five to the ten of cups this person wants to wants what you guys once had is what I'm getting here they feel like it's gone like you know in the in the five of cups you see that the the two of cups is back here and they're not even you know observing that they're crying over these three cups this union that has not taken place is that blurry I'm sorry um, but this is what they're wanting this and it's in this there is there all they have to do is turn around and acknowledge that okay hmm and I think too that's what this page of swords is mainly here for is because this person they're not talking they're not going to talk unless they are approached because the only thing that they're focused on right now is the fact that they are not going to put up with somebody who strict who strictly wants a sexual connection that is not all in they want this ten of cups they I mean ten of pentacles they want this ten of cups okay and they want it with or without the other person they prefer to have it with this person but they're not going to accept this alone this has to be involved this two of cups okay they want the whole shebang basically okay let's see if this is likely and I feel like you guys want this too you guys want this too I feel that strongly let's see is it likely Ooh, not good energy not good energy this person is very defensive like they want to say something the knight of swords is is an aggressive energy 
in and of itself. Okay. But then we have the five of swords behind it. So it's almost like this person feels very betrayed. Um, they feel lied to. And I feel like they are they are at a point where they possibly want some get back for whatever reason. I don't know what what the person on this side possibly has done. Um, maybe there is someone else involved here. Maybe um, a Scorpio energy. Scorpio Sag type of energy here. That is all up in, you know, <laughs> in your heinies probably. That loves you. They don't make a whole lot of movement. This is almost like a lazy kind of energy. Um, I don't know if you guys use the term lazy, you know, significant other, but that's just basically somebody that, you know, you're with them, but they don't make a whole lot of effort. They're just good just being with you. You know, that's what this type of energy is. But they're looking right at you, and you are like, you know, your focus is divided, I feel, here. Your focus is divided, Virgos, I do believe. If this is you on this side, because this could very well be you on this side. Only you guys know your, you know, your own personal stories. But, you know, you choose a side. But this is Aquarius energy. Over here, we have Pisces. Um, we have Scorpio, again. Sag energy. Okay. And um, so that's what I have. And I'm going to go ahead and pull a Romance Angels card to close out this reading for you guys. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Yeah, that is true. But I need for um, your person, Virgos, to not come with this energy because this right here is not going to end well. If they have, they really have, they really want to say something to you, but they're angry, I feel. They're very angry. And maybe they have gotten wind of you possibly dating someone, maybe, being involved in another connection here. Is what I feel because th this person's angry hmm so I don't really see that this you know will happen um, especially not between the 7th and the 13th because then again I don't know because this is a very anxious energy so I would not be surprised if this person did reach out because they really want to speak on something here. But I see that you're ready for their asses. Okay. All right, guys. So that is what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you soon, my Virgos. Bye now.